Hey up viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV. Camera, check. Microphone, check. Beard you could hide a badger in, check. It's James Peck here and we've got cricket on. So after yesterday's uh, weather debacle where I think just about no cricket was played anywhere near here, look at Jimmy Nixon striding across the ground like a stallion. Um, we're here at Ortsall Bryden, All Hallows Ground. It's surrounded on three sides by roads, so um, there will be a bit of road noise here, but uh, hopefully that won't get in the way of your enjoyment of the cricket. And we're in the uh, group stage of the John J. Mallon T20 Cup. Um, and I'll go through the context of that with you in a second. So we've got three groups of three teams, all looks like they've been uh, picked because of the geography. So we're in, in a group with Orsall Bryden, who we're playing today, and Retford. Group B are Cuckney, Thorsby Colliery and Welbeck and Group C are Anston, Killermarsh and Worksop. So we're playing group matches first, all play each other once and then the winners of the three groups plus the best runner-up will play in the semi-final on Sunday the 20th of June uh, before the final itself on Sunday the 4th of July. And you should recognise the uh, characters in the Wheatley T20 team if you've been watching the first 11 highlights and also the match day vlogs for the twos. Uh, the only name you might not uh, recognise or, or the face you might not recognise is because I don't recognise it either and it's uh, Adam Mendham who uh, Milton Cricket Club very kindly loaned to us for this match. Uh, so good luck to him for his first match for Wheatley. Um, I've tried to spice it up a bit but actually it's a pretty friendly rivalry as it goes because I can think off the top of my head of at least five or six players in our squad who've either played for Bryden outright or, or been through their academy side um, and the academy here is absolutely superb marshalled by the incomparably wonderful Gareth Jones who's uh, nurtured and developed countless cricket talent in this area and uh, not only have they gone on to fill Bryden's teams but also fanned out to other clubs including Wheatley as well in the Retford area and beyond so huge hats off to him so Cal Rutherford opening up for Wheatley from this end. That's uh, immediately hit out and they've taken a single. Oh, and that's left him as well. Good start from Cal here. Oh, and that's drilled through the covers. And that's the first boundary for Bryden. So, on his debut for Wheatley, we've got uh, Adam Mendham opening the bowling. See how he goes. So, well stopped by Munch, it doesn't prevent the single. Oh, that's long. And George might catch up with that, and that's four runs. Oh, that's well stopped by Ruben Lindsay there in the second team. That's a quick single. Oh, and there's buzzers. And that's five. Again, really good full bowling from Cal. And there's a shy at the stumps. And it misses. And they're going to take another one. And Cal's a bit grumpy about that. So we've got Mad Dog up to the stumps now. Trying to curtail this uh, swashbuckling opening batsman. So kind of works straight away. Well bowled by Mendo. Oh, nicely bowled. Oh, and that's been pumped over mid-wicket for four runs. Lovely shot. That's a lovely clip. And it's fielded by Rob Hunter Shaw. And that's a single. End of the over. 31 without loss. Four gone. <laughs> Drill down the ground and Rob stops that. Again, apologies for the camera work. I am nothing if not an utter dunce with this camera. Oh, that's uppish, but just on the bounce to cover. It's no run. It's been a really good start, this from Cal. It's kept it very full. I'll be keeping in mind that it's been a uh, Wet around here in the last few days, and it's making it awkward for these also Brian to batsmen to get in my way. 
put out shite the starts for a munch and it's backed up this time so Cal doesn't blow his top. Oh that's a super delivery. Good end to the over. Scores 34 without loss, five gone. So a change at the uh, pavilion end with John Ellis coming on in place of Mendo. Good start, it's well fielded. Oh, no it wasn't. <laughs> and uh, that's a single. Takes the score on to 35. Oh, that's been launched. And that's four runs. Lovely shot. And again, that is an absolutely mammoth six. Moves the score briskly onto 46 without loss. Great start for Bryden. This is going to be a quick one. Oh. And uh, eventually just a single. Good effort by Mendo, and it's a single. That single brought up the 50 for uh, also Bryden. It's coming the seventh over, and they've batted brilliantly so far. Wheatley need a breakthrough. It's been spooned up, and that's out. Wheatley's first wicket, and Jono takes it. up these uh, quick singles here Brian it's going to be important in their uh, bid to build a formidable first innings for uh, we need to chase oh again nicely bowled by Johnny's keeping it nice and full and, uh, more adept work behind the stunts from my man dog so the score at the end of the over is 53 for one we've got 12 overs to go so after Cal's bowl through spell we've got Munch coming on to bowl, Alex Menshausen. Good start from him. Again, clipped behind square. And there could be a mix up here. Oh, not quite. out to uh, deep mid wicket for a single. And this uh, Bryden total is having a bit of a consolidatory period at the moment after that wicket. It's a good bowling here from Munch. Again a flatter one and it's been turned down. It's been launched over George's head and is he going to stop it all? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, and uh, I think that's four runs. <laughs> Don't know why I'm laughing so much. George just did a perfect impression of me in the field there. Big appeal. It looked like it's going down from here. But that, again, it's a chance at the ball descent. Bit of a mix up. Lots of confusion in the end, no run. 65 for one. Come down the track and has yorked himself really, so no run there. Really good bowling by Munch, gave it a bit, bit of air that time. Mixing up these uh, arm balls and his moon balls. Has it stopped him coming down the pitch again? And somehow that hasn't bowled him. I've got a feeling a massive shot's coming here. <laughs> Clipped away. He's only get a single for that one. Scores 68 for one. And we're at the halfway stage in Bryden's innings. Ten to go. Looks like uh, John is going to bowl through his spell here and he's, he's earned it. He's um, kept the ball really full. And apart from the occasional blemish, these Bryden bats have struggled to get him away. Again, this is 
super bowling from Munch. Naggingly accurate and must be very frustrating to uh, face, especially when they want to up the scoring here. Oh, I missed that, but that was a great catch. Really must apologise for my shoddy camera work. Um, it's very hard to see uh, anything here. <laughs> I'm squinting as I'm watching this. <laughs> and first ball is tapped out into the covers for no run. The score's 75 for two. We've got seven overs to go. Captain Eddie Tofts is bringing himself on. Last time this happened in a league match. It uh, came off pretty well, it got a couple of wickets, so let's hope from Wheatley's point of view we can do the same here. Nicely drilled, out through extra cover, and taking on George's arm, and it's two. Strangled appeal, Betty tries a bit of football skills, and doesn't quite make it onto the stumps. It's gone over at Tom's head. It's been three fielders converge. Jono eventually picks it up, gets it into Mad Dog, and there's two runs. Not sure if you can make that out, but it's uh, 83 for two. Oh, that's an extraordinary shot. Uh, I think there's two there. Um, they settle on a single. The score's 84 for two. There's six overs to go. Looks like Munch is going to bowl out. This has been a really good spell. Curtail the scoring quite significantly for uh, Wheatley. Oh, and it's been put down. A short bit of wicket. And they steal a single. Really well taken by Rob. And that's three down. And we have done really well here. Brian had raced on to 50 without loss after about six or seven overs. And this is, uh, represents a superb fight back from the Whitley boys. Another quicker ball that's been edged fine. I think that should be going for four, it does. So we've been joined by two of the luminaries of the uh, second team, uh, Captain Jimmy Nixon and a key player, Aidan Blake. How are you chaps? Very well, thank you Mr Peck. Excellent. Enjoying the cricket today, beautiful sunshine compared to yesterday anyway. Oh my giddy aunt, I can't believe we're actually playing. Um, um, it's, uh, it's a miracle really. Yeah, very disappointed not to be able to get off and play yesterday so it's nice to still Catch a bit of cricket today. Yeah, I can imagine. Maybe. That's just been nudged down fine for four. Drill back oh, at Eddie. Oh, was that was that a boot? Was that a shin? <laughs> if it if it was a shin, he's not not showing the oppo is hurting, which is the key skill when you get hit on the shin. <laughs> Captain's performance from Eddie. I Absolutely. Think. Um, so Jimmy, you've got one of your um, younger charges in this team, haven't you, Reuben Lindsay? Just tell us a bit about him. Yeah, so we got Reuben a couple of years ago, um, just turned 13, I believe, so he's 15 now, um, and he's developing really well, exactly what the second oh, yeah. team is about, developing players and trying to get them into the first, so really happy that he's got his chance today. Topper's coming on, bowling on his old stomping ground. He's uh, joined us this, uh, this season from Bryden, so uh, he'll know this uh, pitch like the back of his hand. And that's very well fielded by Callum Rutherford. It's two runs. The hundreds up for Alsall Bryden. 101 for three. And got about three and a bit overs to go. Well, we've just missed that chap's 50. I think uh, everyone else had missed it as well. He's just got a belated round of applause. Played really, really well, and it's been the backbone of this Bryden innings. 
That has been absolutely mashed for six. <laughs> oh, that's a beamer. So immediate apologies from Eddie there. Let's uh, come down here, fielded by Toppers. Well, bold again by Eddie. These are precious dots. Great big Yahoo. Didn't connect with it. Neat keeping again from Mad Dog. That's gone over George's head. Coming down to me, and that's four runs. So the score's at 128 for three going into the last over. Let's see what Brian can finish up on. That is an absolutely huge six. <laughs> Lovely shot. out and a single and I think that's the end of Brighton's innings it is so we're at the uh, start of the weekly innings we've got George Lewis and Tom Waterfield only the batting so, low bouncing one for uh, to start off with for George who's uh, Facing up for Wheatley first, probably the only international player on display uh, for either side. Um, unfortunately for Wheatley, not in cricket. He's a lavishly gifted shot and he's represented England in the trap event, junior level. Ooh. He middled that into himself for no run. <laughs> We've got a bit, a bit of spin opening up from uh, this end. Love a bit of spin, mate. That has been absolutely smashed for six by George Lewis. <laughs> That's T20 cricket. Well, we've managed to get the ball back eventually. We've got uh, skipper Eddie Toffs with us. Uh, how are you doing, Eddie? How did you feel that first innings went? Um, well, I think we recovered well. They went off to an absolute flyer at the start with the opening balls on, and then middle overs when they had the pace off, and this wicket's, you know, ball bouncing a bit, we pulled it back really well. And then I tried to throw it away again at the end. Um, <laughs> but I think limited them to 140, we've done all right. Um, let's see where we get after this power play. You know, these two can both hit it. We'll see where we're after 10. Oh, I'll take that. Nice, uh, inside edge. And that's Keep going, G. Come down here for four runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, Tom, good. Really good running from Wheatley here. And they're doing what Brian were doing earlier, and that is they can't get the boundary, get the singles, keep the scoreboard ticking over. It's uh, 16 without loss, and we're into the third over. Tom, well bowled. It's a shorter ball. You know I'm being earmarked for the equivalent of you in the seconds, which is a mighty, uh, some mighty shoes to fill, which I'm not even sure I'm capable of. One, I'm going to have to get into the dictionary to find some words that are bigger than more than four letters long. Uh, and also, I'm going to have to get the cricket map out to know where certain things are on the field. Because I can't just say that, that was a mighty smite over into the tree area. <laughs> well, as you can hear, viewers, we've uh, got the loquacious uh, Darren Lindsay with us. Care some point. <laughs> loquacious. I don't mean that at all. You're, uh, I, I love the way you talk, Darren. You've got a lovely curly Lancastrian accent. I think it lends itself very well to commentary, if you ask me. Thank you, thank you. But I, I would just uh, say again to, to those listening uh, how fine a job Pecky has done. <laughs> stop um, it, stop it, stop it. He is a modest chap. Um, but the friendliest guy you were ever likely to meet. If you were ever new to the club, he will be the first to welcome you into this family. So, yeah. Oh, that's very kind. That's, that's 20 quid for you, Daz. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I was uh, surprised to get this game on today. Oh, uh, given the rain yesterday, mm. and actually some football was cancelled this morning due to standing water, 
to get this game on. And actually, it's a lovely afternoon. It's it? absolutely belting. I had to put the suntan lotion on today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm with you on that because uh, I've missed the trick there and I, I might be feeling the effects later uh, when I have a, a permanently surprised look as my eyebrows make their way higher up the forehead. Well, testify. <laughs> oh, do, do we have to talk to him? Massive shot. We don't at all, Darren. That's, um, it's gone, trickled into the boundary for four in the end, but that was a, a lovely shot from George and he started off brilliantly here. The score is 24 for none, and we're into the fifth over. So of course, as your young lad Rubes is playing here today, yeah. um, you must be yeah. delighted with how he's progressing, because just let us know, because Paul got older when um, he was a wicketkeeper. Just explain what happened after that then. He, he decided that he well, shouldn't be a wicketkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> he decided, yeah, uh, with a bowling, and uh, yeah, much better as a bowler, which I think... Uh, <laughs> After everybody telling Ruben that uh, you're only going to lose your hips and knees uh, the, the longer you spend as a wiki keeper, he was only too keen to be part of the action. And, you know, uh, the wiki keepers are an unsung hero. Uh, Dog will probably testify to that. End of season awards, it's all about how many wickets. So I think when Paul offered the chance to uh, to be a baller, he, he uh, was more than happy to uh, to take that up. But. Yeah, I just, I just want to say, he came through at Bride and Reuben um, yeah. under some very fine coaching from Ben uh, and Gareth uh, and, and lots of other coaches here, um, as, as do a lot of others as do uh, in the local area. And it's really good, really a good atmosphere on a Friday, brought a lot of youngsters through and yeah, it's, you know, he's playing for, for Wheatley now, but it's good. Yeah, well, they do a cracking job. Yeah, they, they do. They, they, they churn, really do. They churn out the talent, don't they? Well, I think, you know, we've got to probably aspire to do something similar, haven't we? I agree. Um, and get the local boys from, from our area into it. Um, but, yeah, no, really good. Really good grounding, coached in the right way, great family atmosphere. And it's shown today, it's a, it's, it's a good contest. Quicker ball, that's really well bowled. Well taken by the keeper as well. Edged fine by Tom. It's really good bowling, this. And has it been flooded? It has very well. And Tom comes back for two. It's so got a change of bowling from the Ollerton Road end. And a left arm orthodox. Starts off with the wide. really well bowled. After an inauspicious start, he's uh, pulled it back there. Ends a good over. So Wheatley are a quarter away through their innings. On 35 without loss. Picked up by Tom and that's four runs. Lovely shot. Again from Tom. There's a man posted out on the mid wicket boundary for him as well. He moves on to 14, George is on 21, and the score is 41 without loss. We've got exactly 100 to get. Oh, and that's bowled him. Lots of flight. Tom went for a great big hoik across the line, and Wheatley have lost their first wicket. Scores 46 for one. Rob Huntershaw, bucket hands himself, coming in at number three. Well, uh, that's one way to start. <laughs> that is a six off his first ball <laughs> from Rob. Incredible. That magnificent shot brings up for Wheatley's 50. 52 for one, and we're in the 10th over. <laughs> and uh, he's made three balls and he's on 12. Bob's gone for another huge one and he's been dropped long off. Oh, it's about as eventful the first four balls as you can get. <laughs> Single. He moves on to 26. 
the score moves on to 60 for one and we've got 10 overs to go. Just got a change of bowling, a bit of uh, medium pace by looks of things. It's got off George's pads, come down here for one leg by. Oh, and that's oh, bowled in. So we've got Alex Manshausen in at four for Wheatley. The score's 63 for two. It is another big shot from Rob. Oh, it's been caught and bowled. So I imagine the Toppers is going to be getting an airfall from his uh, former teammates, but he's come out. That's a solid shot by Bunch. And it's just trickled over the boundary for four. Lovely shot. So uh, Wheatley are 71 for three. Eight overs to go. Straight drive from Munch. Came down the pitch, got his foot to the pitch of the ball, and slammed it down the ground. All on the carpet for four. That is up in the air. And it's taken. So the batter's crossed to much is facing with uh, new man Callum Rutherford now at the striker's end. It's been uh, carved down, well stopped, and the third man. Oh my word, and there's a massive mix up, and much is out. Well, uh, Skipper Eddie Tofts is uh, coming for you now, and it's kind of a miracle that more run-outs haven't happened today. <laughs> Been one on the cards for quite a while. Eddie's straight into his work, and he's going to be coming back for two. That's how you run. Lovely flick from Eddie. It should be stopped. Yeah. He's caught that. Cal's gone. And it's 98 for six. It's a really big wicket for Bryden. Cal, we all know about his devastating hitting. And John O'Ellis comes to the crease. So can John O get those long levers working for Wheatley? Oh, well, they'd be used to that sort of delivery. It's a vintage Wheatley worm birder, that one. Flicked by Eddie. And that is one bounce, four runs. Exactly what Wheatley need. Plays one out to the mid wicket boundary for four. Well, that's the Stark equation for Wheatley. Well, this Bryden bowling attack have really stifled Wheatley's run right here. And uh, something pretty spectacular has got to happen. And uh, even less likely now, it's really well bowled. So Mad Dog's coming for Wheatley. That's gone straight up in the air. Wicket keeper's tumbled. 
and I think, luckily for him, I missed that. <laughs> it's all going off. We'll take in the single in the end. So, just the uh, 20 to get for Wheatley off the last over. So, a single off the first ball of the last over brings Eddie on strike. 19 off five balls. Really good bowling. Leg stump Yorker. 19 off four. And barring any extras, that's it for Bryden. <laughs> Very smart for you, Jay Mac. Eddie connects with one, and that's four. That's a, a full on four. Dug out again, brilliant bowling. And Bryden have won. Thoroughly deserved victory. And Whitley have lost the first of their group matches in this John Mullen T20 trophy. Well, well played Bryden, thoroughly deserved victory from them and uh, Wheatley will have to lick their wounds and come back fighting against Retford in a few weeks time in this cup competition. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the coverage today, we're very lucky to get a match in so we're very lucky people and uh, hopefully we'll see you next Saturday with the first playing Killer Marsh away. All the best.